when we talk specifically about the team, there are three words that seem to always come up, whether it be in social media or anywhere online or in TV. Three words, style of play. And not many people quite understand exactly what that means to you. So how do you best explain what you want the style of play to be for the U.S. men's national team? And how did you arrive at that conclusion in what style is best? Well, um, what style is best, you will only get that answer once you play in a World Cup and you implement all the things you wanted to implement and you see if it works or doesn't. <laughs> That's the risk you take as a coach. Um, I, I'm a deep believer that the style of play reflects your environment that, where you live in. You know, and living here in this country since 13 years, I, I think I have a certain sense of how Americans think and how they act. Obviously, everyone is different. Every coach here at the convention has a different philosophy and a, probably a different style of play. But uh, um, we went through a process, you know, in 2004 till 2006 with the German team where we defined a certain style of play in a lot of discussions also with the players because a lot has to do with the quality of your players, mm -hmm. you know, who you have to play a certain style. But also, you know, what is their background? What, what, what drives them? You know, what, what do kind of what cultural elements play into this whole uh, uh, piece? You know, what do the people expect? What they want to see from their U.S. team, you know? And, uh, and the more you discuss that, the deeper you go uh, in many discussions, obviously, you get back to your cultural roots. And uh, that's what I said in the beginning. I said, well, I don't see Americans being really reactive to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. I think you, know, you have this uh, inner drive that you want to like kind of do things first. You just go for it. You think that you want to control the situation. Um, you don't want to always kind of just counter break teams and wait what, what the other one's doing. You rather be a bit more proactive. So you kind of throw out these bullet points and then you think about it. Okay, can we actually play that? Do we have the players for that? Or, you know, where, where do we stand right now? Um, the conclusion is, you know, you're in a transition. You know, I think that the, a lot of the players now being part of the, the senior national team program, they would like to do the next step. You know, they would like to kind of move the whole thing a bit more forward and, and see, you know, how can we play with the big ones in the world? Mm. You know, so not only reacting to France, to Spain or to Brazil and Argentina, maybe one day can we play with them? Um, hopefully we can one day. If not, you know, that, that would be kind of an answer that you have to accept maybe and say, okay, then we, we change it again. So it's a process where you don't know the answer yet. Mm. Uh, but it's a fascinating process because I think, you know, because so much happened now over the last years in this country that the quality is improving, our players are getting better educated, our players are technically more aware of things, you know, they're improving technically as well, um, you know, the physical side plays a role. So there are a lot of elements that all the coaches know that play into the whole picture, but I, I think it's worth to explore how far we can go with this whole discussion style of play. But I mean, uh, um, obviously, I'm rather a person that goes forward than goes backwards. Um, but still, I understand also that you need a very ha have to have a strong foundation. Right. You need to be organized defensively. You need to have the pieces in place, and you need to have also the confidence of doing certain things. You know, so. You put all these things in a big puzzle and you're working on it and sometimes it works a bit better, sometimes <laughs> you're not. And, uh, and then comes the, the, the proven point. The proven point is World Cup qualification. And the next proven point, hopefully after a successful qualification uh, campaign, is then the World Cup in Brazil. And that will show if you can do it. It's obvious that you're trying to instill a new brand of soccer. When do you expect to see some progress? So with that being said, to expound on that, where are you seeing the most improvements in terms of integrating your style of play with this team? Well, I mean, the, um, obviously it takes time. There's no doubt about it. And it takes patience. And it takes uh, here and there some setbacks. You know? uh, but um, the, the question would be a, a great question for the players. You know, working now with me for four or five months, you know, and seeing, you know, so how does this guy train? You know, what, what kind of uh, elements does he integrate into the camps? You know, what is he talking about? You know, how is he communicating with us? Um, so I think the players, they, they, they got a sense for it. You know, where we want to go from, uh, uh, from this whole idea, you know, to play a more attacking style of play uh, eventually down the road. Uh, because it's, it's demanding a lot from them. You know, they, they uh, kind of have to switch gears. You know, they have to understand that, you know, um, our comparison is not a domestic 
picture. You know, we not compare, compare ourselves with a domestic league or, you know, what they see maybe at their clubs. You know, our comparison is a global picture. So I got to go out there, and I was last month in Brazil for a coaching seminar. I got to go out there and see, you know, what's new in Brazil, what's new in Argentina, what are the Spanish doing for being the number one team in the world right now, what are the best club teams in the world are doing, and, and uh, get a sense for it. So we have to kind of find ways to compete with the best in the world. Um, and um, so to give that kind of more broader global picture to the players is a very important piece of our education to them. You know, when players come and they play in a certain role at their club teams in the Premier League or Bundesliga or in MLS, um, they used to do it a certain way. Now, for me, that might be not enough because I got to tell them, you know what, if you want to step it up to the next level, then you got to add this and this and this piece to your game. You know, in order maybe for Clint Dempsey one day playing in a Champions League team or Tim Howard, for example, or another player finding a team in Europa League or... Uh, to be an MLS player is to be really at the top of his game in his club. So everywhere there is a next level, there's a next step to take. For all uh, the players. For all the players involved. Everybody comes from a different background and from you know, different expectations. And that, but I think that is the fascinating thing for a coach. That's what I love. And I love to kind of tell the players, this is where you are right now. I see you, you have the potential to go higher, but it's you the driving force, it's not your coach. It's not your personal environment. They, they won't push you. They won't drive you. It's your inner drive that makes that. So um, I think I can be very helpful in that process. And that's what I'm trying to do. Open the eyes and says, you know, I'm not telling you how I want it. Right. I'm just telling you this is the rest of the world doing it. You know, this is how Barcelona plays or this is how Spain plays or right now a young German team does because of those elements that they implemented, because of their lifestyle that they have, because of their rhythm of training, the intensity of training and uh, um, because of the nutrition that they're looking after and all those different elements that make an, an athlete a better athlete. You know, so what we are asking the player basically is, you know, you got to give it your best in every element. Uh, otherwise, you miss out here a couple of percents, there a couple of percents. And, the coaches at the convention, they know that it's all about the little pieces, little pieces. at, the, at right. the end of the day.